Okay, here we are, our part two of our actuator bracket. Uh, we've created our flat pattern. We've done a really nice job of holding this puppy up. It looks just darn skippy good. And um, uh, one of the things I want to show you is that you can't actually work on the f when it's folded out flat. You're going to get an error message when you do that, okay? So if I go in here and I go to um, create a new sketch and I grab this sheet, you're going to see this error message. Edits to the flat pattern are, ex are exclusively applied to the flat pattern and cannot be reflected in the folded model. So you're really limited about what you can do and can't do. Okay? So we're going to get out of here and uh, we're going to uh, undo our new sketch and we're going to go um, I'll do it go to finish sketch and then we're just going to delete that sketch okay and we're going to fold our pattern back up and now we can go ahead and do what we need to do so <clears throat> I'm going to go create sketch grab this face right there go up here to my construction line um, and then also I'm going to go and highlight it so because I want to be drawing in construction lines I'm going to go project geometry I'm going to project the geometry on this face. I'm going to use my line tool to come pick the center point here. Come on, Doug. You can do this. There it is. Find that little green dot. There it is. Come over here and find the little green dot. I now have a uh, horizontal line here. And then I'm going to come up here <clears throat> and I'm going to draw another line. And I'm going to, I'm just going to pick a point here and come across. I just want it to be parallel. Notice my parallel uh, confirmation there. Okay, there it is. And now I'm going to go in here, and I didn't go all the way across because I didn't want to tie it to any geometry right now. I want to get the height of this. I'm going to come up here, grab that, pull out, and this wants to be 0.535. This is going to be my fold line. Okay. Now, if we zoom in close, you can see that it doesn't touch, so I'm just going to go to Extend. I'm going to pick that and extend it to that corner, and I'm going to pick this and extend it to this edge here. It has to touch the edges of the object. If it doesn't, if it goes past, you won't be able to fold it. Um, the fold line has to go from edge to edge. So we're finished with that sketch. Uh, I'm going to go over here to Fold. I'm going to pick my line. It, that's what it's asking me for the bend line. I'm going to pick it. Now I get a choice of where it's going to bend from. Right now it's bending in the center. I also get a direction. You can see this arrow pointing up and bending towards me. If I play with this, now it's the other way, so the body would be flipping up rather than the ear bending. And I can also go in or out with it. So I want it to go in and I want the ear to come towards me. And then I can move this right here. You can see I can move this up or down and I want to use this um, center one which is the start of bend okay and I'm going to confirm that on my drawing start of bend is exactly what I want to be using and we'll go up to our bend options here we notice we have this round default here okay and we're going to leave that, we're going to apply that and there it is okay and we just bent it right over that is so cool now I want to come over here and I want to do the same thing over here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I want to bend this ear. And we're going to do this differently than we've done anything else before. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go up here and we're going to remember I told you about the planes and how important they are? We're going to find the YZ plane and we're going to make it visible. And that is, if we look from the front, that's cutting right down the center of our, our, our piece of project here. Okay? You're gonna. This is so e so amazing. And what I just realized is I bent this ear the wrong way. So I need to go back to this uh, flat pattern here, and uh, I need to edit the flat pattern. Oop, nope. I don't need to edit the flat pattern. Excuse me. Back. I need to get in here and edit that fold. Okay. So just bear with me. I just made that go the wrong way. There's my fold right there. So I'm just going to go in and edit feature, just like we always do. This is actually a good thing to show you. And I just need to flip this over so it goes the other way. You ready? And here we go. Boom. There it goes. That's exactly what I, I wanted it to go out, not in. My bad. But we fixed it and we showed you how to fix it. Now we're going to go to so easy, mirror. I'm going to pick the geometry, which is right here. 
and it says up here feature which that's the geometry now I'm going to make, pick the mirror plane and I'm going to come pick this mirror plane right there and boom and I'm going to go OK and look at that it bent it right out it's just that is so easy I can't so we didn't have to draw another line we were able to use the geometry from this side and just add the mirror plane to do that really really pretty cool I'm going to click on my plane highlight that and turn off the visibility <coughs> excuse me and I'm going to come around here in front and I'm going to get ready to finish this out. I got a couple little more things. We got to cut a hole and we got to uh, do some other things. I'm going to pause for a second and I'm back. And so uh, we can do this several different ways. We could just uh, go in here and new sketch and pick this face. I could uh, go up and pick a circle and punch it through. We could do our hole punch. I'm just going to do a circle for this one. It's way easier. Find that center. Pull that out. That is 0.75 if I remember right. And uh, we're going to go finish sketch. And I'm going to go to cut. going to highlight it. And we're going to go OK. And there it is. Now we've got one more little part to do and that's on this side over here. We need to cut uh, a slot through this. So I'm going to go find my directions for cutting that slot and we will do that next. Okay. And um, so I'm going to start out by just going um, new sketch and picking this outside face. I'm just going to start with a rectangle and I'm going to put it in here and I know that uh, my distance uh, across is my distance across for that slot I think I skipped that already I apologize the distance across for that slot is 0 0.065 times oops excuse me times 2 Great, and I'm, then I'm going to tab over to 0.45. There we go. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to uh, do a little projecting of geometry. I'm going to project some geometry here. Pick that and pick this face. Go up to my construction line. Go to my line. Pick my center point pick my center point. Then I'm going to get out of construction here and then I'm going to go dimension and I'm going to go from that edge there to right there and I'm going to go 0.45 divided by 2 and then I need a distance down uh, actually the distance is from this face here so I'm going to project that geometry Let's see if I can get it right there I projected that geometry pick that point and uh, I need the center here so I'm going to I'm going to take a pass on that for a second while I add a circle here because that'll give me the center that I need and the center that I need and while we're here we'll just trim these babies out okay and why doesn't it let me trim it you remember we have a dimension if you got a dimension, you can't trim them out. Okay, and now we can trim. Oh, looks like we are still in this dimension also. And now trim. Okay. And trim. Okay. Let's redimension that. And you know, I know some of you really like to uh, drop the dimensions off, but you really want them. Later on, it becomes very important. Okay, and we need a center from here to here which we have, and I believe that is 0.3. Okay, that looks excellent. Uh, let's get a... Um, we can either do a dimension, we we'll do a dimension from this side to this side. That's really great. And okay, and a dimension from... We got that dimension. I think we have all the dimension... Oh, we need the dimension um, from here to the center. There we go. Excellent. And I believe I'm done. Finish sketch. I'm going to go into my ISO view here. 
and we'll actually we'll swing it around because we want to watch it do both sides at once and we're going to go up to cut we're going to highlight the uh, geometry that we want to cut make sure that it is doing that and we're going to go distance and we're going to go all and we're going to zoom out here so you can watch what happens and we're going to go OK boom right through both sides so we only have to line it up on both sides and we're done okay um, let's go around here and let's go to our flat pattern and make sure everything's working correctly and it is everything is folding out and folding in that's exactly what we want and earlier I was having a little trouble with that and uh, but this is an absolutely gorgeous piece okay um, and uh, do I have some dimensions I can check out on here to confirm some of our dimensions okay let us fold this out flat and let's check a dimension here I'm gonna go from this point here measure distance from here and two there and I am at uh, 3.024 uh, they have a different measurement but I have gotten this every time I have drawn this so I'm gonna say it's good and uh, let's to go to this dimension here which is the center of that and go to the center of going to be pick our centers or not it's not gonna let me pick my centers okay so we won't worry about it I'll dimension it later on when I create a sheet okay but that's essentially uh, what we were doing with this puppy and getting it all squared up and all folded out flat and it looks really good so I hope you have uh, you can go ahead and build this <clears throat> and you're gonna have again you have to play you're gonna run up against things that are just gonna drive you nuts in inventor and as you do it more and more you're gonna realize what those things are and it's all about geometry and so you're gonna to have to go in and edit that geometry uh, maybe even uh, delete the geometry you tried to start with and start over again so don't get frustrated just keep working on it and you'll have a great project have a great day thanks so much